Syria. Our plan to destroy Syria is almost complete. Israel has admitted that their plan to destroy Syria is, quote, almost complete, which will allow them to aggressively continue their illegal occupation of the Golan without any obstruction. Israeli Deputy Minister for Diplomacy Michael Oren breathlessly told reporters last week that, quote, there is no Syria to negotiate with meaning that the occupation of Golan may now be viewed as legitimate by the international community, RussiaInsider.com reports. Capitalizing on the chaos and destruction of a six-year war to push for international recognition of occupied land, that's not very neighborly. According to Oren, quote, without Israel, there in the Golan, the region would be jeopardized. ISIS would be on the Kinneret. Perhaps this is the reason why Israel has repeatedly targeted the Syrian army and its allies fighting Islamic State in Syria instead of bombing ISIS. As al Masdar News reported on Sunday, the Israeli Air Force carried out its second attack against Syrian forces this month, targeting forces stationed in the Golan. Why the Israeli military chooses to target the only force in southern Syria that is fighting both al-Qaeda and the Islamic State is often debated by all parties in the six-year-long conflict. However, the Syrian government, Israel's actions are clear. They are providing air support to the groups fighting the Syrian Arab army and their allies such as Hezbollah and Harakat Nujaba. The cynicism at play here is truly spectacular. Recall that earlier this month, Israel's Prime Minister, Benjamin Netanyahu, argued that Israel needs buffer zones on Syrian territory to protect the Israeli-occupied Golan. In other words, Israel wants the international community to recognize the occupation and, quote, protect it. The Jerusalem Post, with Syria in pieces, it's time to recognize Israel's annexation of the Golan. The plan from the very beginning was to chop up Syria. The Turks and Americans are now squabbling over northern Syria, while Israel is making moves to, quote, legitimize its occupation and create new occupied zones. Well, this is this is like uh, to me this is crazy because they shouldn't have, they should be fighting ISIS together and not trying to break up Syria because Assad to me he seems like a very reasonable person and uh, and also Vladimir Putin is very up uh, up front with his uh, you know whatever he's saying and he and he backs up whatever he's saying with facts. You know, this is this is outrageous that's that's going on over there. I, I, I don't know. Let us know what you think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching. We'll keep you updated.